the series title, Olympic qualification, and the battle to avoid relegation. It is all on the line on finals day here at the HSBC Singapore Sevens. So here's how the quarterfinals look up this morning in the cup draw. Samoa against Uruguay in quarterfinal number one. That's followed by Argentina taking on Australia. Then on the other side of the draw, it's a captivating match between France and Fiji. And then can Great Britain stop this incredible run that the All Black Sevens are on on the series? Got his team back into it. Oh, he, hands on it now. Danger. Samoa lethal from position like oh. this. And Scanlon just skins Uruguay on the outside. Paul Scanlon hits spin, gets a little bit closer. They strike straight back to Samoa. Got the wall. Let's go. It's Scanlon. Clock's in the red, final play first half, 12-7. Revol, Moneta. Marcus Moneta is just so quick, he just gets checked. He's on the floor, but up again, stops, goes. That's why he was voted World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year. You think you've got him, and he finds a way through. The boy wonder, Marcus Moneta, delivers again. He should be a detective, because I do not know how he found that space. And Manera makes sure you will not forget it. And just before half time, they strike, and that one hurts. Looking for a little break. Straight up the middle. Yuani Temba cutting them to shreds. Temba will go himself. Such a classy player. And Fiji extend their lead. Getting himself in the party. Here it comes. Bang. Oh. How do you stop it? Perez coming across as the sweeper. No way he can change direction quick enough to stop Temba. A little bit of position here and a good streak upfield from Regan Ware. Fresh legs onto the field. One step. And he's going to go into the corner and put New Zealand through now, surely, to another semi final. What a strike from Regan Ware. I had a good chat with him yesterday. He was trying to convince me he's got old legs. I'm not having it, mate. Lee's Roddick on the deck, strides away. Look, he's cruising, plenty in the tank. Still got it, the old boy. count 14 12 there's a bit going on here and speaking of going on way goes Va'apelu Maliko Moneta chasing race to the line between the two flyers and it's Apelu Maliko what an athlete this guy is what a rugby player what a quality exponent of the game of rugby sevens Whoa. that's kind of like I feel like that's from one try scorer to another They've carved off metres here, Argentina, pressing for a try. They're on, says Tom Mitchell, Luciano Gonzalez. He's got Alvarez with him. Santi Alvarez has to come back and field up the middle. And now it's Escro, Escro for the line. Escro, is he over? No, not quite. Is it there this time, Alessalde? <laughs> He's claiming it. It's a stretch out. Try or no try. Oh! Ball on the line, in front of the posts. There's paint on that ball. Hoppatai trying to stop it. Getting Warner, everything have a decision. Can behind yeah. the... You may award the try. Try given. <laughs> what an effort from Thomas Elisalde. And now a conversion in front to send us into extra time in the semi-final. Let's play on! <laughs> Our Argentina flying up on the outside, Palandini. Here's Ethgro, ball back in field. Argentina keeping it alive superbly. Rodrigo Ethgro trying to get the arms lead. Oh. Throws a miracle ball to Marcos Moneta. Oh. Hands in the air, waving around. Argentina <laughs> into a final again. And it's Money Marcos who seals the deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Collier. Where? Rokalisoa. Leo. Try New Zealand. And Leo actually slowed down a bit and then accelerated, which put the Fijian defender in two minds. Champions in Hong Kong a week ago. Regan Ware, the veteran, all that experience. He's still only 28, but he's been around for so long and he's back scoring tries for the All Black Sevens. Samoa with possession. Could they be the one to strike with six? On the field, my Samoa, he was the quickest two of the loose ball for Fiji, lays it back. Long and night, Marcy, the off oh. spectacular. And Fiji should be enough to win it for them in the finish. Well, they were stretched every side. But Te Rio Wailoa goes flying over. It is the Men's Cup final, and it is New Zealand against Argentina. What a weekend we have had, these two sides, both unbeaten, fitting that they are here in the main event. New Zealand had a tough pull with South Africa, Australia and Hong Kong. Quarter final, Great Britain, semi-final against Fiji, and Argentina, well, they've been absolutely brilliant. Dominant throughout, and a golden point win against Samoa in their semi-final to get through to this stage. No lack of rugby IQ in the form of Gaston Raval who's out there. Leroy Carter now, who's been excellent for New Zealand this weekend and all series. And he will put it on a plate for Regan Ware, who in turn dishes it to his captain, Dylan Collier. Wow, what a start for the All Black Sevens. Santiago Villafeld can take it into contact. Counter up from New Zealand, there you go, that's the power game at the breakdown they've become so famous for. Here's Regan Ware. Moses Leo shrugs off Marcus Moneta. Moses Leo in the Lion City has come up with a massive solo effort to extend New Zealand's lead. It's Iskoro again, who's just been extraordinary on restarts for Los Pumas Sevens. Here's Luciano Gonzalez looking to thunder into New Zealand territory. He gets the ball clear to Herman Schultz, who will score in the corner. That is textbook off the restart from Argentina. You can't do it any better than that. And that line-out's been overthrown, and Brady Rush will go coast to coast for New Zealand. The error at the line-out from Argentina, and the rushing yards for Brady. It won't matter, Rupert. All Black Sevens, one more time. How make it, two make it, and they finished number one at Singapore Sevens. New Zealand have qualified for the Paris Olympic Games next year. Argentina edging closer as well as are Fiji. Look further south and Uruguay have replaced Spain back in 11th spot. And New Zealand, the All Black Sevens. Kings of Singapore once again. <laughs>